This video is about doing unit conversion using dimensional analysis. I'm going to start with one example. So let's say I have 1,250 Canadian dollars and I want to convert this to Swiss francs. So what I do, I start with what I am given, so the 1,250 Canadian dollars. And then I'm thinking of what do I want to get rid of? In this case, I want to get rid of, of the dollar, the old unit. So what I do is I'm multiplying with a fraction and I'm putting the old unit at the bottom and the UN unit is going to go at the top. So the Swiss francs. And now all I have to do, I have to look up, okay, how many, what's the exchange range between Swiss francs and Canadian dollars? So right now, I for know one Canadian dollar, I have to pay 0 0.76 uh, Swiss francs. So what I do, I look, okay, this is my old unit. So my old unit goes down here, I had one dollar. And my UN unit is the one with the Swiss francs. It's here, 7.76. And then I do a little bit of dimension analysis. I see, okay, that dollar cancels that dollar. So now the unit that I will get at the end is Swiss francs. So, the unit here will be Swiss francs, and all I have to do is I have to do 1,250 times 0 0.76 uh, divided by 1. So I take my calculator, 1,250 times 0 0.76, and I get the answer that this is equal to 950 Swiss francs. So this was example 1. So let's do a bit more complicated one. So let's say example two, I want to know how many liters is there in one cubic meter. What I do know is that one liter is equal to a decimeter cube and one decimeter is equal to 0 0.1 meter. So what do we do? Again, we start with what we were giving at the beginning. So I was given with one meter cube. But now look, I'm, instead of writing meter cube, I'm going to write meter three times in a row. This is meter cube, right? Then I multiply by a fraction. What do I want to get rid of? Well, I want to get rid of the meter. Do I have a conversion from meters to liters? No, I don't, but I have one to decimeters. So I'm going to be writing decimeter on top. And I know from this table, I have one decimeter is 0 0.1 meter. And then I do my unit analysis. Okay, that meter here cancels the meter here. But we have two left. So what do we do? Well, we do it again. One decimeter is 0 0.1 meter. I do my unit analysis. I have one left, so I have to do it once more times. One decimeter is 0 0.1 meter. And in this analysis, my meter cubes are gone, and now I have decimeter cube. So, what do I want to get rid of? New one, I want to get rid of my decimeter cube. So one decimeter 
cube, which I know is equal to one liter. So I have one decimeter, two decimeters, three decimeters, one, two, three, canceling the three here. And what I'm going to put in my calculator now is one times one divided by 0 0.1 times one divided by 0 0.1 times one divided by 0 0.1 times one divided by one. And what I get is that this is equal to 1,000 liters.